Uh, the sheep. Um, um, what? Um, uh, um, I can't say what's happening. Excuse me, sheep. I had a sheep just get up in my face. It wanted to square up. Welcome back to the Snoots cast. And it's going to be a great episode today. First off, we're introducing your one and only, your your the, the, the cool, cool guy over here. Me, Caleb, and <laughs> man, man, manning the camera is your boy August, right that there. How you do That would be me. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best for last, if you if you want to call it that. Noah. Hey, there everybody! I'm back from the dead. He's looking fly today. I know I'm looking pretty fly for a um for a dead guy. For a dead yeah, that's right. Yeah, fly for, for a, a dead, dead guy. guy. Pretty fly for a dead guy. You know, you know me. Sometimes you know I'm me. dead and sometimes I'm alive. So that's true. just how the world works. As long as I've known Noah, he's always been dead inside, so it's very fitting. It it fits it fits me very well for today. All... Yeah, for for today specifically. For too. today. Yeah, Noah's <laughs> not able to join the Minecraft server today that we've in, so uh, we've got, um, yeah, this to fill yeah. in for him. I feel pretty good. I feel uh, light on my feet. <laughs> yeah, I, I. You know, I feel like I lost a on. lot of. I feel like I lost a lot of weight. Like I feel just <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty skinny. You know, like a skeleton. Mm. You know, feeling like a Jesus. petite boy. I feel like uh, I feel like Kendall Jenner, you know. <laughs> oh, I was I mean, just gonna say spooky season came a little bit early for Noah. Which spooky is, I mean, it, mm. hey, spooky season, best season. So like true. start of September, it's spooky season, you know. As we said last episode, all it's true. We just talked about that. Yeah, we did. Like spooky season is best season, and anybody that disagrees, you're just you're just wrong, you know. You think yeah. Christmas is good? It's okay. You think Thanksgiving's whoa, good? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck. Yeah, like Christmas is not season. just Christmas. There's, there's Hanukkah. There is Hanukkah. Whatever you celebrate. Whatever you celebrate, but that's okay. I'd but say it's not... Halloween is top tier. Halloween is always top tier. Plus, they don't have to deal with snow. So. I mean, it's like right in Most the middle. Likely. Like, It's like right in the middle before like snow hits. Or whatever area you're in. Whatever you are listening. Like... Especially if you're up northern, you get snow pretty much whenever it feels like it. That's true. But especially for their one guy in Belgium or yeah. person in Belgium. I mean, thanks to that one Belgium <laughs> yeah, listener. That was hey, surprising. We, we're shouting you out. We know. Yeah. <laughs> we're shouting you out because we appreciate you taking your time to listen to us because you rock all the way from yeah, Belgium. Yeah, yeah we're not you should, uh, whatsoever. But. You know, we, <laughs> We see you out there in uh, we Belgium. Much appreciated. Hey, yeah, we see. We don't worry. It. We know that. We don't. Hey. Just... hey. We don't know anything about you. We don't know anything about you. We just really know don't. you're. From... We just know you're from Belgium. This isn't weird. We just unless someone's using like a VPN that happens. I was to gonna be say yeah, in, in like in Belgium. It could be. It's like oh, okay. Well, you well, see, that'd be well, a while. If you're using that VPN or you're actually from Belgium, we're shouting you out. You and wrong. also, why are you using a VPN for Belgium? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's some like Netflix there cool shows sh- over there. Yeah, yeah. There's probably some cool Netflix shows. Like it's pretty cool over there. Like sometimes you got to use VPN to access like shows yeah. from Netflix you can't access in the United States. We're not transitioning into an ad. I was here. gonna say if we were <laughs> no. <sponsored by> VPN, <laughs> we're not. Uh, we're not transitioning. <laughs> you know, if we had any ads, that would be some good transition. Yeah, but wink, wink, no, nudge, nudge. You know who we are sponsored yet. by. We you know who we are. You know who we are sponsored by? Noah Facts of the Day. Ooh. Noah's Fun Facts right off the rip. Let's get, Right off the rip, it. you know. Let's get Noah some facts fun right facts going. Rip. Um, You know what's a really cool fact? And this is like a throwback too, you know, to old hmm. like YouTube. Did you oh. know like cashews come from a fruit? Really? I yeah. felt like I knew that, but at the same time, it's like I'm not sure. Did you guys ever watch like Tobuscus? <laughs> Tobuscus. 
the bus because the name I, I really used familiar. to. I used to. But like, there was a song he did, and he put that in it. He's like, "Did you know that cashews come from a fruit?" What? Oh, it was like I might a. Remember it's, that. it's called like a viral song or something. But that sounds that's, familiar. That's my fun fact of the day with Noah. Noah, I want you. I, I got to catch you guys off your toes. Got to catch you guys off your toes. You don't want to be like. You don't want to be like later in the episode. Like, ah, oh, when is this? You you don't want to be like on your edge of the seat waiting for my fun facts. Right. You know, sometimes you wanna... I will do that to you. Sometimes I'll be like, hey, I'm gonna make you really try to try to. You know, put you on the edge of the seat. Like, where's these fun facts coming? I yeah, need them. Yeah. Oh, I need them. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. they just sneak up on you, but so they sneak no, up on you. Gonna do, you're only going to do what one fun fact every episode, or are you going to yeah, sneak you know, random ones? Maybe you sneak a time? second you know, one. In. Hey, I think I'll the first one... episode had like at two? least two. Yeah, I don't remember. Hey, you know, if I feel like another fun fact, I'll get you another fun fact. How about Ooh. that? Speaking of Halloween, though, did you guys ever have like a, a fun like costume that really stands out to you when you guys oh. were younger? Ah, uh-huh. let me. That's um, actually really a good question. Oh, I have a lot that I remember, but they're kind of all really stupid. Oh come <laughs> on! But Halloween is to kind one of, of you know, them... dress however you want. <laughs> yeah. One, I think we literally made a ghost costume out of a sheet, like literally, like one of the classic, like yeah, that's classic <laughs> ghost costume. I, I'm pretty sure that was one of them. And nice, then I nice. think one year I went as a hockey goalie or a hockey something, which mm-hmm. was kind of weird. No, but that's not then weird. One year I was, I was a murderer clown with an axe, which was creepily <laughs> really close to the time where there was actually a supposedly killer clowns, which was a weird time. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, the k- yeah. Do you remember uh, that? that was, I remember yeah. that. Oh, my God. I was like, what the what's happening? Am I going to just die? I think that was like late. 2016. Yeah, 2018 that was like time. yeah, somewhere on then. I think I was like getting ready to graduate high school or something like that. I was still. Least, in, I, I was in high school. I know. I think that. I was in middle I was school. Still in high school. I was still in high or, school, and I was like seeing clips about that. I'm like, damn, people are really taking this killer clown thing way too seriously. It's like yeah, like I at some point it's like yeah, it's funny if you're doing it with your friends but if you're just doing it to total strangers like that's like psychopathic behavior right. just a smidgen just a smidgen just a smidgen like and I, okay I feel like I someone i knew had like one of her friends actually like killed what or something what? i don't know i honestly well, don't know if it was because of that but i just vividly remember someone i used to know was like yeah one of my friends died because of this and i was like what Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. So, I, I don't know. Yeah, no, people really no, like, so... took that killer clown thing way too serious. I, yeah. It proves my point. Like, oh my God. I remember uh, when that was going on, my uh, friend of mine, he and I, uh, I was after school one day, we would go on, like, when we had our license, we would drive down to the Walmart in Lebanon Plaza, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, the whole Walmart Plaza itself had no power. And, like, everything down there like was just sketchier than usual and we looked at we literally like parked our cars and we're like should we even be here because like (laughs) everything just felt so oh yeah it was just that feeling where you're like yeah something here is off no that i get that like those tingles where you're like you get those get those shivers you're like oh my god something's a boot yeah oh i mm. I keep on like moving my character in here just because I'm like trying to center this and make it look nice, but <laughs> it's not. Hey, it's, it's whatever. All right, it's all right. We're making it work. We're making Most it. Most likely people are going to be listening to this. My but, OCD. Uh, hey. <laughs> yeah. We got all our, got our OCDs, you know. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, yeah, wah, exactly. wah. But, uh, so, Hall- did you have any? I had a couple Halloween costumes I'll talk about. There was one year I dressed up as Ghost Rider. And nice. it was it was not bad, you know. It was like one of those Halloween costumes you pick up at a store, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do it." But I was a kid, and I was like, "Yeah, Ghost Rider, I'm so cool." <laughs> and then Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider, yeah, when like Ghost those Rider. movies were popular. I mean, Wait. that's like the only Ghost Rider known to media right now, except for like the one in uh, Agents of Shield. But 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, existence. but no, the Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider when like the movies were Nicolas, popular. Nicolas Cage was Ghost Rider. Did you not yeah. know that, Caleb? I I've never seen a Ghost Rider movie. I don't think. Dude, the first one's good. The second one's really like cheesy. The it's... first one's really good. Why first was one's... Nicolas Cage? He had Ghost the... Rider because Nicolas Cage is like one of the greatest actors of all time. It just surprises me. I wouldn't. He did a good job. I really enjoyed it. it the movie freaked Dang, me out when I was younger. No, yeah, I watched it when I was a kid, and I was like, "Damn, this is like spooky." Like and... the the scene with the uh, the main protagonist and stuff, and he like, it's like the camera's like zooming in on him, and then out of nowhere, he just like comes at the screen for like a jump scare. Yeah, oh, that always used to freak the like I shit know. out of me when I was younger. I was like, "What the hell?" I know, especially what he was fighting at the end. That that scared me. Oh, ugh, ugh, spooky. Back to movies. Back to movies, you know. We're always going to be talking about movies. We will, we will. <laughs> oh, hey guys, if you're listening, you're like, damn, they're talking about movies again. Well, sorry, we're going to. If we hear a movie we like, we're going to talk about <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> yeah. But I dressed up as a Ghost Rider, and then I also dressed up like Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. <laughs> I know. I dressed up as a friend with you named that was uh, Shane or something like no, that. No, it was I ju- it was just me that dressed up like the only character from not the only character from The Walking Dead, but just me as the only character because I always went trick or treating with my mom and my mom and family. Mm, and nice. but nobody else dressed like a Walking Dead character. It was just me as Rick Grimes. Mm-hmm. I did like Grimes. the. I did like the fake beard and everything. Like my mom put some uh, fake stubble on me. Nice, that's I made, awesome. Uh, I got the like, I got the got the cowboy hat. Got a revolver, not a real one, but like a revolver. A real revolver. Yeah, that would be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Let's give a real give revolver. Give me your candy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a stick up now. This, this is, is yeah. Halloween. This is an Halloween. I, this, this is, is a robbery. <laughs> Anyone that comes to the door for the candy, you just pop out by him. You're like, yeah, sorry. Hand it over. Hand it over. Yeah, Th- don't make this too hard on me. Don't make this too hard on me. Like, put it in the bag. Put it in my little bag, and we'll be on. Yeah. I'll be on my way. If you scream, yeah. I won't be afraid. Everyone just think it's the <laughs> Halloween thing. You know. Uh, yeah, I dressed up like Rick Grimes, and there was one year I dressed up like an Angry Bird. No. <laughs> like I, Angry Bird. It was the red one. It was the main nice. one. It was the main. Nice. Ri- and I actually wore that costume one night to bed. And the next day I had a huge rash on my back oh my. and face because I wore the costume to bed. I don't know what, what I I don't know what it was, but my I woke up for school the next day and my mom's like, hey, Noah, come here. And she turned on the light. She was like, what the f- brick? What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, what the brick? And I had this huge rash on the side of me. And I was like, what? She's like, you have a rash. You have this. You're not going to school today. We're, we're going to figure this out. I like went to a doctor and they were like, um, so what? But I was like, <laughs> I was an angry bird. I, I was an angry on, bird. Man. And they were like, yeah, the costumes have gave you this rash. I, it could have been the material, but yeah, don't don't wear that costume to bed next time, okay? <laughs> and I was like, I mean, okay. Least, I mean, it means that at least you had the dedication to the costume. You I know. know. Yeah, it was a really. Much. I did like the costume. I felt like an angry bird, and especially <laughs> during that time Just when I was a kid, and like charge at them. No. <laughs> uh, I didn't say okay. no. I didn't do that. I would have, but I was. I was also a shy boy, so if person was like, person was like, "How you doing? You want some candy?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll take one. I guess I'll take a piece. Yeah. Oh, oh, can you pick one for me? <laughs> one for me? You're like, I was also very like awkward. Their driveway, and you're like, "Hey, can you just yeah. throw it in my bag so I can go <laughs> yeah. to the next house?" I'm like whispering. You, you have a long Kobe. stick, and you're like knocking on the door with a long stick. <laughs> And you're, they open it, and you're just wait. I'm just like, no, wait, social wait. distancing before you had a social distancing. Yeah, I know. yeah. literally. <laughs> have just a long, some. have like a microphone. Be like, can I get some candy, please? <laughs> Trick or treat. Yeah. They're like, why are you at the end of my driveway? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not see these goblins about? They're spooky, and I don't know if you're a goblin. Please. Just toss me the candy and I will leave. Yeah. 
And yeah. um, uh, another Halloween costume. I dressed up like Captain Jack Sparrow. Nice. Yeah. And then last year's Halloween costume, I dressed up like Sexy Patrick, and that's the one I'm oh, most proud of. Talking about that, and that's, I remember. I remember the pictures of that. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. That was the most. I literally, I went up to my friends. I was like, I'm too hairy for this. Can we shave my legs? And they're like, use, oh. they're like, use Nair. I'm like, okay. And they helped me use Nair. But we did, first we did half of my leg. We did half of my leg. And I was like, this looks weird. And then we ended up <laughs> doing little, but I didn't Nair my entire leg. I Nair'd like a quarter, not like, like I Nair'd half of it and left the rest and it looked interesting i was bare like for especially for like the like my nets i you can only see like sort of we were setting up the nair for my leg like my leg hair or like for like what the short like like the shorts of the length so we nared that hair and down and I only didn't nair my whole leg, so I looked weird with the nair. Oh, yikes! So you had like half hair in the half of your leg, which just just naked like bare skin. Yeah. Oh God. And it, but uh, hey, I will say my my legs were nice and smooth. Well, part of my <laughs> leg was nice and smooth. That's that's nice at least. Yeah, but that was the most dedication I probably had to a costume because. I went to a Halloween party and I, uh, me and my friend dressed up like P- Patrick and SpongeBob, and I, I had like that uh, spray on dye hair, and we dyed my hair pink, and I also had a beard, so I also dyed my beard pink. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I was gonna go the full dedication and paint my skin pink, but oh, I was like, God, no. I, I was yeah. like, no, I think that would just be too hard to remove. Yeah, yeah that'd be a pain in the ass. And it, like. The end game. Literally, and trying to remove the stuff on my hair was just a hassle. It was rough trying to get that off my hair. Yeah, yeah I, I believe it. But yeah, those are those are some of the interesting Halloween costumes I had. What about you, August? Did you have any uh cool, interesting Halloween costumes? Yeah, uh, when I was younger, I grew up, you know, big fan of SpongeBob because you know SpongeBob is just a goaded show. I mean, it still is. Yeah, yes, right. Is. Um, my mom made me a custom little like SpongeBob thing that I could put on when I was—I don't know how old I was. I, when we, it was when I lived in Connecticut. I, so I was under—I think I want to say like I was like three or four maybe at the time. But uh, yeah, she made me a custom SpongeBob outfit, like out of a yeah. cardboard box and everything. I think we still have it to this day, actually. Um, okay. she also That's... made me a what was it? A Thomas the Tank Engine. Love One that. That's really big. Damn. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out my mom for that, you know? Shout out to the mom. That's some. Shout out um, mom. I think I've been hard work trying to get that, get that yeah. just right. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't remember much of it because I was so young at the time. Yeah, but I that's think fair. we still have those. Um, I want to scream one year. Yeah. With that, because mm. that's like a cult classic for Halloween. Oh, yeah. Any horror movie characters called classic for Halloween yeah. costumes. And then in, I remember it specifically is 2012, 2013 era when uh, Party Rock Anthem was big, like hella big. Ah, uh, um, yeah. That era of <laughs> goaded music. Mm-hmm. Um, I was such a big fan of their music in general at the time. Um, I made my own redneck version of the robot guy that does the shuffling dance. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> and I put it over my head and wore that. that yeah, was the robot guy. Um, and then I took it to the Halloween dance that we had in my middle school. <laughs> Bro, everyone wanted to wear it, so you yeah. see, like, you'd see people like randomly, like, in the gymnasium, just wearing this box head. I and then someone that. like chasing them around in the museum <laughs> trying to get the box head. Oh my god, <laughs> that's sick. Yeah. yeah. Um. Aside from that, I don't really think I've had too many other Halloween costumes. Yeah. I haven't gone trick or treating in quite some time, just because. I mean, I, who hasn't? 
Who has? The places that uh, I used to go to, like, it's just like everyone's a lot older because yeah, yeah. I used to yeah, go to like this uh, one street where everyone used to give out a whole bunch of candy. And mm. then throughout the years, obviously, it just died. Oh, I know. There's always like, I miss that. In everybody's town, there's always that one street that yeah. gave out so much candy. Yeah, and everyone would be like, go to that street. Basically, yeah, exactly. that's what I did. I was, there is a, uh, in my hometown, there was this uh, street, but it was like a hill. So you had to walk up the hill. Which sucked, but it always oh. gave out so much candy because that's technically where some of the rich people were. So they had just a boatload of candy, and nice. I, and me, and my sister, and my mom, uh, would just walk that hill, and we're like, "Ooh, a piece of candy! Oh, do you have any water as well?" <laughs> Basically, <laughs> we always like had water bottles because we're like exhausted afterward. Did you guys ever hit the houses though that had like raisins or apples? No, I know. Oh. I never hit that house. I, I'd, I'd, or I'd get like the toothbrush house. Oh, I got the pencil house. I oh yeah, I, got, I never got a pencil house. I might have gotten a toothbrush, but I remember I no, definitely, I... I definitely hit an apple house and a uh, uh, a raisin house. If you're yeah. uh, one of the, if uh, if you're one of those people listening, you suck. Exactly. <laughs> you know what kids want. Don't give them. You know what kids of. You. It's their one day of the year they can eat shitty. Yeah. Exactly. And also Thanksgiving. Or like Christmas or any any holiday, major but... holiday. <laughs> yeah. But still, <laughs> Halloween's that one day where you eat a boatload of candy and you wouldn't care about your teeth. Exactly. Until the next day, but Halloween's where you eat a bunch yeah. of candy until you're sick. I mean, honestly, I would take a toothbrush if I'm gonna be honest. I will say there was one time I was walking up that hill. This dude gave me a toothbrush. He was like, I know you're going to eat a bunch of that candy. So I want you to be prepared for the next day. And gave me a toothbrush. I was like, this is shit. <laughs> As a kid. Yeah. I feel like I'd be like, this is sucks. But now I feel like I'd be like, you know what? Free toothbrush, man. I need a new one anyways. So. Right. I know. Yeah, I know. Cool. But hey, you guys. I was Halloween. It was fun. I'm still enjoying mm. Halloween. What? Okay, I'm going to ask you. Back to movies. What is your favorite Halloween movie? It can't be a horror movie. Like It has to oh. be related to Halloween. Because I have an answer. I think I have an answer. I don't know if I have an answer. I, I'll be real. I don't know. Really? Oh, okay, yeah, I have an, okay, okay. I have an answer. Okay, Caleb, first. Caleb, what's your favorite okay. Halloween movie? I think mine is Charlie Brown... In the pumpkin patch, classic, I think that's what it's classic. called. I I don't know. It just it's one of my favorites. Yeah, it brings like, that like used to watch it. Yeah, it brings that like nostalgic feel. And I I love when he's like, I got a I got rocks or like <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. Yeah, it's okay. like relatable, relatable, yeah. freaking relatable. <laughs> like yeah, when you're growing up, you're like, damn, that's relatable. Man, I really just get rocks. Uh, rocks, yummy. All right, oh, August. Yeah. What's I your? I don't know if it's a horror movie. Or, uh, sorry, I'm not sure if it's a Halloween movie because I can think of like movies I'd watch around Halloween time, but it's not like specifically like Halloween related. That's the thing. Okay, what is it though? Scary Movie Three. Scary Movie Three. You know what? I'll count it. I'll count it. I yeah. It... I love the Scary Movie series. They're yeah. freaking hilarious. They're like They're one so of my wacky. first intros to like the spoof classics. Yeah. I had no clue that, like, when I first started watching them, I had no idea that they were spoofing a whole bunch of other movies. And my parents were like, yeah, watch these and then watch those, and it'll make even more sense. I'm like, holy shit. Do you guys mm-hmm. remember that one spoof? I know this is going off topic, but that one spoof movie about <laughs> Twilight? Oh, I saw something about uh... this literally, like, yesterday or this morning because I was watching a Smosh video. Yeah. And they had it. I know, but there's like that one spoof movie about Twilight. I don't remember what it was called, but I just remember watching it. I was like, this is a weird. This new Twilight movie is kind of weird. Because <laughs> of dog water. It, I mean, yeah, we, we won't get into Twilight, <laughs> but yeah. I, okay. I, I've watched I've watched Twilight, bro. I've seen it way too many times. I actually, I will say, I my dad one day was like, hey, we want to go to the movies? Well, I was like, me and my sister were like, yeah, he gave us an option of Twilight, a, I think it was a New Dawn or something, and Avatar, like the James Cameron Avatar. Mm. And guess what me Wait. and my sister chose? 
Twilight. We chose Twilight. Nice. <laughs> we watched Twilight instead of Avatar, <laughs> and we're like, "Why did we do this?" We're like, "Yeah, Twilight. That's that's a that's a good movie, right?" And it was not. Yeah, it was I not. I think I've seen the series like two or three times through. Honestly, I don't know yeah. why. I I really don't. I uh, you know sometimes you just gotta watch Twilight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sometimes you gotta be like, yeah, Twilight, yummy, yummy. Yeah. <laughs> so no, what what's your movie? All right. Since you you had this answer right off. Okay. Let's hear it. The only correct answer to this, well, it can be a correct answer if you're listening, but the only correct one is Halloween Town. And if it's yeah. Halloween Town is my, f- it will always be my favorite, like halloween movie because it's it's about halloween and it's the ultimate halloween movie i i always watch that that movie no it's not it's like like, yeah and it's it's beautiful and i always watch that in halloween because it's just majestic and i (laughs) love watching that movie every time it comes to season when it's on uh what was it Cartoon Network during Halloween time because I have a whole bunch of the Christmas movie or what? Why Christmas, what Christmas movies? Had a whole bunch of Halloween, <laughs> yeah, had a whole bunch of Halloween movies, and I forget the name of it, but there's an animated one that I did always enjoy watching. So, oh wait, I know. Did it have like a uh, like the witch, like really the, witch, the witch, and and there was yeah, like the was older was it the older brother, and like would terrorize like the. Like her, his sister or something with his friends. I think so. Something. I know what lines. you're talking about because it wasn't like great animation, right? But it was, it was good. You know. I remember. Okay. I don't remember the name. I know what you're talking about though because I used to watch that every time, like, Carnu Network had it on. Carnu. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, if anyone in the, the anyone watching or listening yeah, knows this, please calm. let us know, please. Please, please. I <laughs> want to rewatch that now because <laughs> I remember it was like a fever dream, and I just remember watching it. Ugh, but it sounds so familiar, but I don't remember that. Yeah, we need we need someone to comment this name of movie yeah. because oh my god. Uh, no, but I just also Cartoon Network always uh. Always play Goosebumps. Uh, Goosebumps. Oh, uh, yeah. scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. No, it, it scared me when I was a kid. There was, <laughs> that I was also like intentional, I think. It was supposed to be. It's Goosebumps. Right. You know? <laughs> they always... I used to read all of the books. That was like the one series mm-hmm. I read in middle school was Goosebumps. I read so many of them. Yeah, that's like the one, one, it's one book series I would always read. But yep. every Halloween, they had the Goosebumps books out. At school, they got the Goosebump books out and shit like that. So they always yeah. did the trick. I yeah. was happy reading. Them. Oh, I have a great weird Halloween story that yes. I remember from high school. Let's hear it. It was we have we had this interesting science teacher who <laughs> who dressed up as a witch for our class made a weird like stew would just cackle the whole class it, it, oh, I, I don't, I, it was just weird i don't know i just remember being in that science class and being like what is happening right now it's always she was a bit crazy teacher. yeah i i didn't know what to do <laughs> she just had like uh what's it called that the ice oh my god Oh shit! Um, What's the ice called? I can't remember right now. Oh, uh, well, I can't. I'm spaced on this too now. When it like uh, fogs up. Yeah. Oh I, my I, god! I don't know, yeah. but she had that ice in like a little bucket, and I don't, I don't know. We did some weird stuff that day. It just reminded me of that. I'm gonna think of it later on while we're talking, and I'm just gonna randomly. Blur yeah, it, yeah. That that's usually how my mind oh, works. That's how it works. Nope. Uh, I don't know if I have any, like, funny Halloween stories. I used to go to some Halloween parties every once in a while with some friends. And, oh, like, yeah. Just, like, when you're younger, you know, you go to a friend's house for a Halloween party. Yeah. We did it for my friend's birthday. I was, like, That's a knight. Cool. I don't know. It was weird. Ah, uh, dry ice. That's what it is. Dry ice, yes. Oh, my yeah. God. Phew. It didn't take as long as I expected it to. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. Is Noah alive over there? I don't know. Noah disappeared and then I, I don't know. But yeah. But yeah, like I said, I don't know about Halloween stories aside. Um uh... I I remember <sighs> all me and my two brothers shared the same Superman costume. Like growing up? Yeah, there's like a picture of all three of us wearing it, and <laughs> it's kind of funny. Nice. We apparently all fit into it, so. Hey, if it fits, it fits. You're right. The glove fits. fits. Wow, that was. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Eventually, I like to move on to talking about music. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see. Okay, sorry I cut out there. I just got a phone call. No worries. From my school. Yeah. Oh, sorry, everybody. Oh. Uh, it was uh, about my like key. They were just like, hey. I was like, hi. And I know this was, I don't know what y'all are talking about, but I just went off topic completely. But they were like, what the, what's, <laughs> what's the, what's the numbers on your key? I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, here they are. And they're like, cool, thanks. And I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> I and i was like can you fix my key card it's not letting me in the building like oh y- y- okay bye i was like what uh, what what i know that's awesome gotta love that gotta love gotta love that gotta love the mice now, we were talking about um caleb and Bridging. i were talking about some funny uh halloween stories and stuff that yeah really happen uh yeah you don't have to re-explain to me you don't have to re-explain to me. It was already told. It's already told. Ha ha! That was okay. funny. That was... I mean, it was basically just about like my weird high school science teacher dressing up as like a witch and stuff. Oh my god! In yeah. class, just cackling randomly throughout the class. It was <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in that same know, class, though. In that same class. Sorry, we, uh, but, we went for a field trip, and yeah. uh, one of our classmates. Oh, it was like oh, sorry. It was a field trip to like a, a lake. And we were like doing like some, it was like biology. So we were doing biology testing or whatever. One of the people in our class just decided to jump in the lake. <laughs> that, as one I don't, does. I, right. But the teacher was like way down the other side. And apparently they told everybody that we caught a fish, which doesn't make sense. Because why would that make people not come over? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Right. But I just remember that from the same class that someone just jumped in the weird like that was kind of gross but at least jason Voorhees didn't pop out and pull i know down. yeah that's true <laughs> they see didn't go to, yeah you know you don't who doesn't love a good jason Voorhees popping out of the lake <laughs> yeah you ever just yeah. go you ever yeah. just go swimming and then just some random dead kid just brings it down to the bottom of the lake <laughs> yeah. flips your canoe over flips your canoe over flips your canoe yeah, over the first time the first time I ever watched Friday the 13th, because I think everyone knows that Jason Voorhees is a killer. The first time I watched the original Friday the 13th, though, I was like, you were I expecting expect to see Jason Voorhees. But no. But it's the mom it's the, the entire mom. time. It took, oh, it took yeah. me by surprise, because it wasn't until yeah. the second movie, till the second movie, when Jason actually becomes the killer. Because right. it was like his mom trying to get revenge on all the camp counselors. Even though it yep. wasn't like the original camp oh, counselors. Yeah. Okay, spoilers, no. by the way, everybody who hasn't watched Friday the 13th, the <laughs> original one. It's really, I will say, the first Friday the 13th movie isn't that good, but. It's okay. It's, it's, like, you know, it's, an, it's a cult classic for a, hor- for yeah. a horror film. Mm-hmm. Wait, did you guys ever watch Sleepaway Camp? No, I can't. Oh, uh, I don't think so. It's not good, but the ending is just mind-boggling. Hmm. I hmm. will spoil it because I really just want to talk about that ending. So there's this <laughs> okay. uh spoilers by the way everybody. There's this uh girl and I guess cousin because her or no, it was a brother that their parents died and they're staying with their aunt, but then they went to camp. I don't remember it a lot because I haven't watched it in a hot minute. I was I haven't watched it in a hot minute, but the ending was is that the girl wasn't actually a girl and she was killing everybody because she was mad at the world, I think. And it, she wasn't a girl, she was a boy because her aunt was like, I always wanted a little girl. 
and turned the boy into a little girl and dressed dressed him up as a girl and at the ending it's revealed cuz the like i think it was angela or something angela the main like the girl was actually a boy cuz it's like she's like naked and like it does this shot where it reveals that it's a boy just it's a naked body which was so weird because it's a little boy's body on top of this like because the actor was a female but they put like a prosthetic face on the little boy that was the naked little boy of the face of like the girl that played the character it was a weird movie i don't suggest what? it I yeah, I don't, I don't know. Watch, if I'm gonna watch that. I appreciate no, the breakdown. No, watch, weird. watch the dead meat. Uh, watch like the dead meat version of it. You guys know dead meat, like on YouTube. I know the channel. I've yeah, seen like a couple other videos here and there. But, but watch, really, like, watch before. that because that's a fever dream of a movie. It's only <laughs> worth watching on dead meat channel. Okay. Yeah, but really noted. But back to Friday the Thirteenth. I wa- I I remember watching that entire series with my dad on new year's like new year's eve through new year's day because we always watched like horror movies and we watched at least up to part seven of the friday the 13th friday the 13th movies because there's a a lot of friday the 13th movies way too many there's way too many and it's like the story like it's not really coherent but like you have to watch like one movie to understand this one part of the movie occurring characters come back from a previous movie and you're like if you haven't seen that movie you're like who the hell is this this is like a big reveal for something i don't know that's like every paranormal activity movie that ever came out oh my god did i tell you that i watched the entirety of paranormal activity 2 as well (laughs) like you mean like just the second movie no all of them all six of them oh Oh my god i what i was i've seen all six of them as well yeah that 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 was something. It's that so scared the shit out of me when I was like, when I was younger. But then again, I think that was the point. I didn't like watch. <laughs> I didn't watch like. I only watched when I was younger was the fourth one where they're on, using web cameras and stuff. I didn't mm-hmm. really watch like the first one until like a couple years ago. I was like, okay, what's the hoopla about? And I watched. I was like, okay, I get why it would be scary. But then a couple weeks ago, when I was, uh, I went to visit my dad in Florida. I was stuck just doing nothing. So I was like, you know what I'll do? I'll watch all of Paranormal Activity series. And I watched it. I watched all six of them. I was like, why did I do this to myself? Because like the first one's good and the second one's not terrible. But then the third one's like, what? And then you're, the fourth one's like, why? And the fifth one's like, okay. And then the sixth one's like, No, this doesn't need to happen. This is just, no. (laughs) Why? Come on. What are you doing? Just trying to make a quick buck? No, stop it. Get some help. (laughs) Get help. But they so many movies do that. I know. That's true. But there's also a seventh Paranormal Activity movie that's not related to the first six. What? Is it the one that's on, like, Hulu or something? No, it's on Paramount. Paramount, that's what it is. Yeah, it's next of kin or something. And I watched it and I was not impressed. It was yep. spooky, but it was like it was kind of doing the same thing but in a different style. I'm not gonna spoil it because I don't know, it's recent and I don't want to spoil something too recent. Right. But no, it's even just, though we uh, even though we spoiled the Barbie movie last week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but yeah, yeah. Oh, we also said we would talk about Oppenheimer, and we all saw it. And not, me and August <laughs> both have still not seen it. You guys so. still have not seen Oppenheimer. Well, like, they they took it out of theaters, so like I can't see it. I had the opportunity to go see it with my parents, but unfortunately I did not go see it because yeah. I had to work the next morning at 5.30 in the morning, and it was mm. like a 7 or 8 o'clock showing. You still had so. an, You guys had opportunities to see Oppenheimer, and you still didn't take it. Yeah, but I was I went to the movies, um, was it Sunday, I think, because it was like the $4 movie day. We saw Strays. You watched... Oh, you saw Strays? I want to actually see Strays. It has... Uh, 
with Will Ferrell and uh, it's, it's Jamie something. Fox. It's Sounds little... really hilarious and very it, messed up. It was very messed up, and I know how to feel about most of it. Okay, <laughs> can you spoil me one thing? I'm not gonna watch um, it if a dog dies. It does a dog. There's a dog die. scene where it shows his penis. Oh god. And it's a bit uncomfortable. There's a lot of like weird dog and sexual talk in the movie, and I didn't. I felt very uncomfortable for a lot of it. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, but, Sausage Party. Yeah, I, it was kind of like that type of thing. I was literally watching Sausage Party right before this. No, <laughs> really? No, yeah. Brother. Oh my god. I don't nice. like the movie, but I, I I don't hate it. It was just that ending in Sausage Party. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. That's oh, a fever dream. Yeah. Um, the actor from Elvin and the Chipmunks and um, Dave? That show with my name is Earl. Michael Sarah. My name is Earl. No. Aw, oh, man. It's the the Arrested the, like, Development. Yeah, oh yeah, it's that guy with is like the beard, the... but he's bald. And he's I like his name. He's like a never nude or something. I have you ever watched oh, Arrested I've... Development? I have not. Like I started it and then I never kept going. Okay, but, but I want to finish it. It's not. It's pretty good, I will say. But yeah, I know who you're talking about. But he's in it. Can I think of his name? I'm looking it up. Yeah. But I don't know where he is, but he's the enemy, the the evil guy on Elvin the Chipmunks. That's all I know. <laughs> David Cross, David Cross. David David Cross. He was, Why is that he was in you? Strays. He was the evil he dude was... from Elvin and Chipmunks. That's Yeah. Probably his best. Oh, friend. that guy. Yeah. Was, he was also what else? He was, was in there? Strays. And the hit that movie. was probably my favorite part of the movie, if I'm gonna be honest. He's in a oh, lot. Oh, he's in scary movie too. Yeah, that's where I know him from. He's, he's scary the guy with my too. strong hand. It's my strong hand. Grab onto my strong I know, hand. I love him so. Much. <laughs> David Cross is amazing. He's really, he's really oh, good no, comedian. I loved him in Arrested. I did love him in Arrested Development. Yeah, Sorry, you got it's not, He's not the strong hand guy. He's the guy in the wheelchair that yeah. says he'll kick the guy, to kick the uh, strong hand guy's <laughs> ass. God, I gotta, re- <laughs> I gotta rewatch the scary movies because it's been a hot minute since I've seen them. I just mm-hmm. remember the clip with Mac Miller and Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I when they're talking about no, the 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 movie with the cabin in the woods, and he, Snoop Dogg's like, you mean this movie? This movie <laughs> or something? And that it's not. It's it's literally just cabin in the woods. But it's like the movie they were spoofing right there was the movie Mama. Have you guys watched Mama? I think I've seen it once. It's, I remember the premise of it. It's you know some. It's like this, like the mom that like haunts like the daughters or something like yeah. that. Yeah, like the youngest daughter can oh, see. Quote, it's like unquote, Mama. Like these orf. Like I just don't remember like how. I just remember like their dad was like, "Okay, okay, girls, stay here," or like. They got into a car crash. They found this cabin, and the dad got killed by Mama, and then they became feral. And then that yo, scene yo. that that scene that Mac Miller and Snoop Dogg were spoofing, where it's the scene. I think the cops, yeah. the cops were were going in, and I just remember them pulling out these guns because they're doing like this standoff, and they kept pulling out these bigger and bigger guns. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny oh my uh, god i just I love just, that. i love mac so much I I was, rest in peace mac miller legend a legend and he he the only good white rapper <clears throat> hey caleb just caleb didn't you just buy some mac miller merch oh yeah i don't know when that's coming it should be soon and i'm excited uh, yeah mac about miller. a sweatshirt and a hat yeah mac i gotta get some mac miller merch i love mac miller yeah. he was like the it, he was a he was like one of the first like I wasn't really into rap when I was a kid, but like when I started listening to Mac Miller, I was like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And then he kind of introduced me to it. I was like, damn, I miss him so much. I oh my god, but I, can't really I give my life. I didn't, listen to, I didn't listen to Mac Miller much. I listened to like I know some of his songs. Like I know uh, what is it? I know Donald Trump because that's a <laughs> yeah. I love that song just because. Um, <laughs> Donald Trump like, yeah. commented on it, and he was like, "Man, I hate Mac Miller because he made a song about me." And Mac Miller was like, "Fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, you, shut the fuck up." Mac Miller. Yeah, like it's my song. 
can't say that I listen. I listen to him much, but I respect the guy. Yeah, unfortunately, that he but passed. But you know, it's unfortunate. It's like there's a lot of like, young rappers that have died like recently. Yeah, I'm still upset about Juice World dying. Like, yeah, I did like Juice World, even though he wasn't the greatest of human beings. But like his music was, his music was good. He was yeah, he was pretty decent. Yeah, I was then... like. I think I was a huge fan in like end of middle school, beginning of high school, and then after that, I kind of stopped listening to him. Yeah, by my senior year, I stopped listening to him, but then I started listening to him. Uh, start of my college, start first year. Yeah, college. there's some songs I like appreciate. Yeah, and X. Oh yeah, X X. Yeah, when he, I, I didn't, I wasn't really a fan of him when he was alive, but after he died. Because my friends, Dang. like, I remember the day it happened because my friends were all like, oh, my God, X died. I was like, who? Yeah. And they're all like listening to him. And I was like, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I never listened to X until he, he died, unfortunately. But I do appreciate yeah. his music. I don't know much about him, but I do like a couple of his songs. I just know the way he died was pretty sad. It was pretty sad. So, so, was, the footage. so was Mac Miller's, but. Well, yeah, I mean, most of the deaths are usually pretty sad. Yeah, but a lot of young artists are dying. Yeah. Like, just dying. It's just upsetting. I mean, this is not a young artist, but when Betty White died, my whole world died. Oh, my God. When Betty White died, my whole world just flipped upside down. I know. And she she didn't make it to 100, right? And that's what was, like, even more sad. Even more sad, because she was so close to making it to 100. She was so close close to making 100. And I was like, no. You just like had to make it a little bit longer. A little longer, and I was so sad when Betty White died. Oh my god! Uh, rest in peace, Betty White. My God, For real. Like, uh, uh, so so many like, but she wasn't young, but still, a lot of young artists have been dying yeah, recently. She died too young. She died, she died too died young. Way too young. She died way too young. Betty White. She, she could have made it to one thirty. She could have made it to two hundred. <laughs> yeah, honestly, she probably would. She was. She, yeah. I mean, even when she was 99, she still looked good for her age. She looked very good, yeah. It's like Jennifer Aniston. Like, you wouldn't even know she's 50. That's true, yeah. Like, Jennifer Aniston. Or it's like Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. He, that man Paul always Rudd looks the same. Paul Rudd always looked like he was a 40 milled age <laughs> yeah. man. Especially in Breaking <laughs> Bad. You're like, this guy's trying to act too young yeah. for his age. <laughs> He's trying to be hip with the kids, but like, he was like young in Breaking Bad. But. <laughs> Right, but still, that was f- <laughs> like Paul. Paul, I was about to what? say Paul Rudd. I was about to say Paul Rudd. Oh my god! Are you are you good there, man? <laughs> no. out. I guess you're talking about Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Yeah. Paul Rudd. Red Paul. That's who we're talking about. Paul Rudd. Paul. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, you know we we went from music to dead artists to now Paul Rudd. I yep. know. <laughs> Rest in peace, Paul Rudd. Even though he's still alive, I, mean, I I did want to talk music on this podcast. Hey, come on. What you got? No, what you got? I mean, I was just gonna have us either like talk about a couple artists we like listening to. All right. Or Shh. come on, our top okay. songs at hey. the moment. Hey, everybody. Yeah, send it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, Caleb. Since you want to do this, you start us off. Okay. Like, give us um, wait, give us first let's like, talk about our favorite artist or band slash band slash like band yeah because i can't pick one okay the, the, let's do th- that is way too hard if you have okay if you have <laughs> let's be... say if you have three mm. artists talk about them if you just have one that's fine all right caleb start us off i mean oh man it's hard to choose three <laughs> honestly but oh, i have to say mac probably first yeah Tyler second. Tyler the creator. Yeah. Third is so hard for me because it could literally be any of my top artists. But which one do you feel more comfortable? Like what you will like go listen to when you're just really down to the dumps? Probably yeah. Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean. Yeah. That's, That's a good choice. Frank Ocean. Hey. I expected Post Malone. In Post- there, not gonna lie. I-, I do love Posty, but he's probably lower top. 10 that's okay like post post has some good songs but i'm like it's not like 
he's in the top 10, of course, but like he's not like right. not in the top three. There's a few I'd pick over post. Yeah. I get that. I, get I love that. the guy. Sweet love... guy. Nice guy. He's just a nice guy. Like, whenever you like watch Post Malone, you're like, damn, this guy is just a very genuine person. Yeah, why is he so genuine? nice? Yeah. Did you guys know that Post Malone was friends with Sky Does Minecraft? Yeah, they lived in a house. Yeah, together. they lived in a house. Wait, really? about yeah, they before. did. I remember yeah. like Post Malone because he was in one of Sky Does Minecraft's it was videos. Back when... Post made stony and stuff. Yeah. Red. Oh, that's cool. I just remember that. I was like, damn. Yeah. I, I always forget that they used to hang out and now Sky does it Minecraft. It's weird. Yeah. And Sky does Minecraft is a horrible human being. Now he's just, yeah, he's something. Else. Like, I remember I used to listen to his music. We don't talk about <laughs> Net, Net, nobody. nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Net, Which Net, was pretty mid music. You must have been living under a rock because Net Nobody. It, his like music he always wanted to do music but it didn't really intensify until like it didn't intensify until skate uh ksi did a diss track oh, yeah. on him and then his music kind of just popped off that's right yeah because net no nobody was listening to net nobody until like ksi did like that diss track on him yeah which is fair which is fair because this guy does minecraft is a horrible human being he used to be my favorite youtuber he used to be but if and he, then, yeah, if he listens to this, I'm sorry. Don't kill yeah, me. I don't know why you'd be listening to this, buddy. I don't know. But <laughs> I but, used to appreciate you so much. I know. But any hoodle, any and, hoodle, any hoodle. You're gonna know you're gonna go next. Now it's no, it's no, it's top three. Wait, but uh, uh, but uh, Caleb, I want you to do like a top oh. song of yours. Just one top song. Top Does song. It... Oh Lord. How about okay? Rather than top song, how about a song that has a lot of meaning to you? Like, oh god, that's like worse. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> my bad. Well, my bad. I mean, kind of, but like, just one oh, song. My. It doesn't have to be your favorite. Just like a song you really enjoy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna um, lie, I was thinking about all. I was trying to think of all the stuff at work today. Yeah, because I knew Caleb was. I, I just Caleb mentioning wanted to talk about I, music. Right, I and I love talking about music, but when I have to like pick a certain like song, it's so like I don't even know. No, I get because there's so many. I do have a song that just means a lot to me, but but yeah, no. I know a uh, song called "Means a Lot to You." I think. Oh. If it means a lot to you, yeah. Yeah. If, if there's one guy that might be listening. I think he knows the reference I'm talking to. So shout out to you, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll go, Caleb. I'll let you okay. think about this. Yeah, song. come back Caleb's to me. Thinking it. So, I need a hot minute for this. So, like my top three artists, but but like one of my favorite. I'm gonna do a band because they're one of my favorite bands of all time, and I always, always love this band. It's the Gorillas. Ooh, Gorillas, nice. Yeah, they're my favorite. Even though band. it's not like a band, they're not like a band, but I always love the Gorillas because growing up, I always listened to. The, I always listen to the Demon Days uh, album. Oh, and MF Doom was. Oh, MF Doom. Mm, that was a good album too. Um, but I always listen to the Demon Days because of. Uh, I'm gonna just say my top song now because uh, Feel Good Inc. Feel Good Inc. is like one of my yeah. favorite songs. Uh, How did I know that would be the song? It. I. <laughs> I always loved that song growing up. It's always. It's I always go back. It's a Great banger. Song. I always like. I always like whenever I'm feeling down or need to listen to it or like a song or something, I always put down uh feel good ink on my phone. I'm like, mm hmm. Or just like a there was one uh Gorilla song, forget the name of it, it's like human hu- something humanity or something like that, but it always like because I was having a panic attack one day and I put it on and I was like, damn. Because it was like nice and calm relaxing it's like not too intense hmm. uh it's called yeah humility humility or, yeah yeah i always love george i know it also has jack black in it oh what? in the music video it has jack black in him on his little not saxophone yeah. thing it's like i forget the name of it that's cool that, was it the thing that he took on to jimmy Fallon? yeah it was <laughs> <laughs> but oh, i cool. uh yeah no i love the gorillas so the gorillas uh, right. uh 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 
Caleb already said it. Tyler, the creator. I mm-hmm. love him so much. Uh, Igor. Igor's the album yes. is so good. That's such a like controversial thing because so many it people is. hate Igor, but then I so know. many people love Igor. I re- I'm and one of those people that just really love Igor. I, I really enjoy it. I know a lot of people don't like it. I discussed this with somebody and they went off on me. I was like, okay, let's calm down I, now. It's apparently just because of like the voice thing it used. Yeah. But, like, I think it's fine. It doesn't think sound that doesn't weird. Sound weird at all. Um and my last artist is Childish Cambino. Oh <gasps> yes. Childish Cambino. Dan, that was Glover. my friend group's uh, name. We mm-hmm. were like a Gambino gang, is Gambino what we called gang. ourselves. <laughs> yeah, but that, those are my top three artists, and I, I always, always will love those artists for all my life. Because, yeah. my God, they are like, they're always like artists. I was always, when I'm feeling down, I always go to them. Yeah. And I just, when I'm feeling pressure from school or life in general, I always just put some some of their songs down. I'm like, mm. and why listen to music like all the time? Yeah. All right, I'm done now. Well, hold up, Caleb. Oh. Before we go to me, Caleb, have you thought of a song yet? Yeah, you're still working on that, dude. I I can't pick. All right, <laughs> Caleb, we're gonna skip you. If you come up with one, just let us know later. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. All right, August, um, come on. You had a lot of time to See, think about it. Yeah, the thing is, is I have different musicians and artists different genres. that I like for different uh, different things. Depends on how I'm feeling and stuff. Like, if I'm really down in the ditches. Yeah. Uh, if I'm, re- like, if I'm really down the ditches, it's, like, it's got to be NF for one of them. Um... Ah, oh, shit. I don't know, man. Okay, so if I, just in general, top three, if I had to go, I prevail for sure. I prevail. If you, yeah. know me, if you know me, that's uh, got to be an easy one for people. I prevail, to yeah. Listen oh, to a couple fuck. other songs. Uh, man, isn't it hard to pick? It really it, is. <sighs> fuck. I'd it, say Ice Nine Kills is probably another one. Ice I've Nine seen Kills. them live. They're oh, my God. I told awesome. you. Yeah. You show uh, you actually sh- you showed me. I was like, damn, I really like these guys. Mm. Yeah, I'm. I have. A, I've always had a thing of being able to get people into music that they yeah. don't think that they, they would be. Yeah, you don't music. think they would like, but you get them. <laughs> Compared hard. to you guys, I listen to a lot more heavier metal. Yeah, I, you right. just remind Death me core, of metalcore, all just, this kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, you just remind me of one band I totally skipped, and I still like them to this day. Is My Chemical Romance? Okay. Uh Black Parade. Yeah. 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 Just hit one piano key and you already know what's. You already this. know, but My Chemical <laughs> Romance is a is definitely one band I go back to and listen to, even though it's like, yeah, that's fair. But yeah, no, band. continue, August. So I prevail. Ice Nine Kills. Um, you can just you got one more. If we're in the metalcore area of things, I would say uh, Fit for a King. Never heard like, of them. They're good. They are a Christian metalcore band. Uh, my friend oh. Ethan showed me them. I did not think, I did not realize that they were metalcore until one day he and I were driving along, yeah. and he's like, "Yeah, these guys are metal are uh, Christian." And I'm like, "What?" Yeah. He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "No way." So I'm like listening to like more of their lyrics and shit, and I'm like, "Wow, they they do not swear." Um, they do not swear. If I had to go for rap artists, someone like that along those lines. I would have to throw in I, NF, like I said. Mm-hmm. Um, Isaac App, for sure. Yeah, he's got some banger stuff. If you haven't listened to him, highly suggest him. Um, and another rap artist. I'm gonna say Post Malone with some of his stuff. Post Malone, that's fair. That's mm-hmm. fair. Yeah. And then okay. just a wild card my... band out there is a uh, Hippie Sabotage for the EDM kind of stuff. Yeah, I've never heard of them either, but they sound good. Mm. seen them live that is one of the craziest shows i've ever been to yeah. seeing edm dubstep kind of stuff live is such a f- fucking experience mm. i I highly suggest that that's fair oh man i used to be really big into five finger death punch but they've kind of fallen off for me i i only listen to one of their songs because a i have a playlist and it's called dad's must <laughs> and what song is it it was wrong side. Oh, wrong side of heaven, right yeah. side of hell. Yeah. 
It's the only yeah. song I probably ever listened to theirs. And I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that song. It's a good song. That's, uh, I think that's off like their third or fourth album. Yeah. That's the wrong side of I, I right have side no of idea about their wait, wait, wait. Which album? August. Which August. album? August. August. Ah, oh, did August. you crap out again? Oh God, I was just about to no, say I'm my. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Give us a spook, man. No, it's I'm not even sorry. Halloween yet. I know yeah. we were talking about Halloween, but damn, give us a scare. <laughs> we thought I I already put like your like face on like milk cartons. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, which album um, was it from? I think it's the their album "Righteous Wrong Side of Heaven, Righteous Side of Hell." Yeah, that's what's called. Okay. Yeah, I, the again, it's called "Wrong Side of Heaven." Yeah, I again, um, I, I have no idea about Five Finger Death Punch. That's the only song I know of theirs. But I was like, damn, they're pretty. They're, I like this song. Yeah, I used to be really big into them. I have like, I used to during uh, high school, I would wear like a shirt of theirs like every other day, just because I had some. Yeah. I, I liked them that much. Yeah, that's fair. Like, that's fair. The, but yeah, uh fun to see they have a song called uh burn mf which is just you know burn motherfucker and when i saw him live uh ivan the lead singer brings kids up on stage so they can sing along and flip off the entire crowd it is hilarious okay yeah i I have a (laughs) band that i need you guys to like i don't know if you guys heard of this band but i need like an opinion if you guys know this band god smack i need an opinion okay okay what do you guys think you love God Smack? Okay, Caleb, have you I'm heard of them? I'm going to see them. Um, I've heard of them, but I ha- I haven't listened to too much of their music. Okay. I love God Smack. I don't I know God why. I have, a, I have a guitar sung by him. I don't know why. I know, obviously, you love them, but I just, I don't know what it is. I just can't get into them. That's I really episodes. can't. I like, I listen to them, but my mom I always think... put them on because my mom loves that band. But I just could mm-hmm. never, because my mom's ringtone I just remember it being Godsmack. I just don't remember <laughs> it, but it was a song of theirs. And I was like, every time it was on the radio, I was like, why is my mom during phone playing? <laughs> but oh, I, I just, I just I've never been, got into them. I've been listening to them for years. They used to be in a, I found out about them through a MTV or not MTV. MTV. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that would have been the era too. Yeah, like, you know, the ATV versus motorcycle yeah. or like motocross video games. Oh yeah, One of their songs was mm. in there. So I just remember my sister actually went to a Godsmack concert recently, and she was like, "That was a trip. That was a trip <laughs> and a half." Because me and my sister never really liked Godsmack, but she was invited by some of my friends or her friends, mm. her friends. And she was like, I never really liked Godsmack, but I went there and I was like, I still don't really like them. <laughs> I'm but, going to see them in October with uh, I Prevail, oh, nice. ironically enough, down at the. Oh. Down at the. Oh, just like, you know, lower in the state oh. and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm going to a I'm concert to... down in October, too. It's uh, my. Is sis- it... It's not the same one, but it's the home team, <sighs> if you guys ever heard of them. Oh, yeah, the home team. My sister really likes that band, mm-hmm. so we're gonna go see them. I wanted to see Joji in October. Oh my god, you don't know! I know. I want to yeah, see I Something about that too. Yeah, I can't go see it because stuff happened. I was supposed to go see it, but I don't actually think I was going to see it. Some some stuff happened with a previous friend of mine. We were supposed to go see yeah. it. But I really want to see that concert so badly. I, I want to go. Yeah. I love. I. You know what? Joji's in my is now in my list. I forgot yeah, to I, mention Joji. Why the hell did I forget to mention Joji? The <laughs> slow dancing in the dark is still a banger. I have his banger. nectar vinyl. Nectar vinyl. Oh my god, Joji! I can't believe I forgot about Joji. I'm such a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go to this concert because it's me too. supposed to be like really like funny and also just like good music. I mean, so like, come on. It's a good time. It's it's literally pink guy. Filthy Frank. Filthy Frank. <laughs> uh, Got a little if, bit. If, you, if any of the viewers don't know Filthy Frank, do yourself a yeah. favor. And if you're really, uh, I wouldn't say if you're needing of a laugh, if you're really needing of just a fever dream, just watch some Filthy yeah. Frank videos. Either, either that or um oh god oh i forgot his name what 
Max Mofo. Uh, no. Oh no! Now I'm sad, man. I gotta think of. He makes like little shorts. Brandon. Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Brandon. Who does he do? Uh, metal stuff. No. Uh, I was gonna say. I, I can. Brandon I don't know yeah, why I'm only stuff. thinking. Brandon of... Rogers. Oh, oh, Brandon, oh Brandon, Rogers. Brandon Rogers. Rogers. A similar oh, no. like yeah. funny just <laughs> random. <laughs> I re- I know I you're know. Brandon Rogers. Yeah. Brandon, you better get that candy out of my face before I shove it up your ass. I don't think you guys know <laughs> the the show he's in. And he's doing. It's called uh, Hell of a Boss. Heard he's, of it. He's in I, it. I, it's a it's like yeah. an animated show, but it's like an adult animation show on YouTube. Which we used to quote him all the time in high school. I, I you still <laughs> you don't quote him still. I was gonna say not as often. No, I feel that. Try me, bitch. Try, Try me, bitch. <laughs> Try my bitch. <laughs> but Brandon Rogers, he's funny. I've yeah. seen some, he's got all of his characters. I and didn't stuff. really. I totally forgot he did music. Yeah, oh, I didn't even know he did. Wait, music Brandon Rogers? I don't I, think he does music. Oh, uh, but I know he. I was does just saying like, something similar yeah. to Filthy Frank. Yeah, fi- similar to Filthy. I, th- I, th- I thought you said he did music. No, that'd okay. be cool. That'd be cool. I mean, maybe he does. I yeah, probably I seen he's hidden like, underground. I've seen some like he does music, but like not like actual like not like yeah like yeah, just like, like for fun yeah funny, for fun funnies the funnies. But yeah, August, I have two songs though. So. August, hmm? yeah, yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite song? Well, not like favorite song, but like like a, a song that really, that really is uh comforting or like uh anything. Uh, simple man, simple, simple man. man, easy. Yeah, Simple Man's always had a special place in my heart, whether it be the original by Leonard Skinner or Shine Down. Yeah. It's always had a special meaning to me. I so. know. I'm just now starting to realize how many bands I left off. How many <laughs> like <laughs> musicians yeah. I'm leaving off yeah. now. Top is it, three is impossible, it's man. It's impossible because I'm like thinking now of Elton John. Elton John. I I love Elton John. Uh, That's why I separated mine into the genre. I should have separated, but Elton John I love. Uh, Queen. I still love Queen. Mean Queen's great. Right before that, I'm literally wearing a pink Floyd shirt. And I, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We, me and Caleb, sure. we talked about it. I was like, damn, I yeah. forgot to mention Pink Floyd. Oh, Wait. Yeah, I... I am on the complete opposite like spectrum of music that I I mean I, I, I dabble in everything. I dabble in everything but, like, too. Uh, but like I, I definitely I can name bands that people would be like, "What the fuck? What are you listening? <laughs> what, what are you listening?" <laughs> all I have to yeah. say is all I have to say is Slaughter to Prevail, Russian mm-hmm. Deathcore. What about Slipknot? It's Slipknot's just metalcore. Yeah. Their earlier albums were more deathcore. Like yeah. Al- uh, Iowa, I I like them, but they're not like a. I went. I did. Band. I will say, I went to a Slipknot oh. concert once. Oh, oh. um, um, the sheep. Um, um, what? Um, um, uh, um, I can't say what's happening. Excuse me, sheep. I had a sheep just get up in my face. It wanted to square <laughs> up. It was like, hey, you guys cooking some pork? It was going for you. What do you mean you didn't see it? No, you're right all there. Over. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god, sheep, get out of here. Yeah. What with your Dead eyes. Dead <laughs> eyes. <laughs> My dead eyes see the sheep totally. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Um, I like Slipknot. Uh, before I forget, on Guitar Hero 3, my friend Ethan and I chatted him again. Uh, that was like all we played on Guitar Hero 3. <laughs> nice. That's fair. I will say, I went to a Slipknot concert once, but uh, before like Slipknot... Uh, the uh, the one of the opening bands was Corn, and oh, I nice. slept through that entire. Well, slept through I it. slept right slept through corn? the corn, like their segment. Oh I slept right through it. I literally was like, <laughs> I don't, rem- I don't remember the band before Corn, but I was like, okay, Corn's coming on, and I looked at my a recent show, or was this like no, this was like back. oh, it was a few years back when I was a kid. But okay. I, I was like, I went to a corn concert and I passed the fuck out. Oh my god! And then I woke up because it was over. My dad shook me. He's like, "Are you asleep?" And I was like, "No, I I love this. <laughs> this was so good. I was oh, it was so good." <laughs> but I just remember sleeping through that, and then Slipknot came on, and then some people in front of us were smoking weed, and that's about it. Nice. Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, okay. Caleb had his first concert. Yes. Back. A few months ago, 
You tell us. I, I was about, time. you know what I was about to bring up? Like, t- I was about to say, what what were some of your favorite concerts you've been to? Or just like a concert you've been to recently? I mean, I've been to so many. Caleb. Yeah, Caleb. You, you tell <laughs> us. <laughs> you <laughs> tell <laughs> us about <laughs> your so many concerts. I totally did. Man, I totally did I, say Caleb's first concert. Was yeah. Post Malone a couple months yeah. Ago. He's been to at least 30. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, tell us about that Post Malone concert. It was pretty good. Sadly, I was pretty tired. Yeah. Like the whole thing, but I'm well, except when I was like yelling and singing really loudly. <laughs> yeah, but that's fair. It was usually it was pretty good. The pyro was good. Post yeah. did a good job. The fair. people around us were, were interesting. But like, but I I know we just said it, but for your first concert experience, how was it? It was really good. Would you go honestly. to another concert? I have not. I meant like, would you go to another? Not like, oh, half, oh, oh, you oh. Know? yeah, hell, heck yeah, I. I'd love to go to another concert. It's just yeah. concerts are so weird because it's like I never know who to go with. That's and like fair. you have to go with somebody, otherwise it's just kinda like it's weird. <laughs> awkward. Yeah. But, it is uh, a little weird going by yourself. Yeah. The August. Uh what's some of the like what recent concert have you been to? Um the most recent one I saw was shortly after Caleb saw Post Malone. I went and saw let's see, this year I've seen I saw Hippie Sabotage this year. Hippie Sabotage. May. That was awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, down in Boston, House of Blues. Never been there before. I've been cool to House venue. of Blues. I saw um, Dance Gavin Dance there. Yeah, it's a fun venue. It's pretty yeah. dope. It's I like it. It's a pretty it. good venue, I would say. First time I'd been to Boston in years. I don't know. Um, and then after that, we saw Falling in Reverse. Falling in Reverse. Uh, with Slaughter Prevail mm. and Ice Nine Kills. Yeah. And uh, Crown the Empire. Nice, so nice. Really- don't really care too much for Crown the Empire, like some of their stuff. Um, yeah, Slaughter Prevail, right. fucking rock. That was insane. <laughs> Einstein Kills, they're like a horror show on Broadway, but uh, music. That's I. It's so cool. Like when you showed me Einstein Kills, I was like, I need to see a concert of theirs. This they look so they look good live. One of the loudest shows. Like seeing them live when I saw them and when I met them a few years back, one of the loudest shows I've ever been to. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, following in reverse, seeing them a few times. Um, mm-hmm. And then I saw Dave Matthews Band the yeah. week after that. Um, we're going to see uh, Papa Roach and Shine Down next mm-hmm. month. Yeah. And then, like I said, we're going to see Godsmack and I Prevail. Yeah. In October. Nice. So nice. Yeah. Been to a lot of concerts. <laughs> yeah. Concerts are awesome. I, fucking, I will I say they they're really good. I can say two concerts I want to go to, which I've already said one of them. But uh, I'll tell you some of the recent concerts I've been to. All right. So uh, my girlfriend really likes. Uh, uh, you guys ever heard of Five Seconds of Summer? Yep. <laughs> yep. My girlfriend really likes that band. I didn't really. I was like, I wasn't really too keen on them when I was growing up, but I, I'm starting to like them now because I went to their concert a couple of weeks ago, like when they were down in Boston. And I will say that was a one of the most fun at a concert I've ever been to. I, I'm very surprised as you guys touring with anyone. What? Or oh, no. Are they touring with anyone or is it just uh, they were touring with this other band called Meet Me uh, Left at the Altar or something. I've heard of them, yeah. Yeah, left at the altar. Uh, they were good until uh, it sucks because they're uh, they're a uh, little they're uh, they got it got ruined because a guy a person was having a seizure. Oh, oh god! Yeah, no, it was. I felt so bad for the band because uh, they stopped the show and they're like, "Is everybody okay down there?" And they were like, "Okay, we need medic. We need somebody. We need a doctor." And everybody's rushing towards like everybody that was medicine rushing towards the person having a seizure and i was like oh my god this i feel so bad for them because like they were having a really good uh start to the show and then a person had a seizure they didn't stop but they took a little break uh but no i just felt so bad for them yeah how dare but they were not a they did a couple <laughs> <laughs> uh no so, i felt bad for the person the seizure yeah too. i mean it's not like uh, at least they, like a hey, bad scenario I know. at least they stopped and uh, fixed it, unlike some other artists that wouldn't stop. Yeah, we, <clears throat> we won't bring that up. But some artists <laughs> yeah. that just 
won't stop and just cause like a bunch of people to go down. Uh, uh, Travis Scott. Uh, and, uh, oh, oh, God. oh God, I got something in my throat. Man, I know I'm I've been sorry. to a couple shows where someone like if people stop fighting, they like, I've a few of the metal shows I've been to, they've actually like stopped the yeah. performance and they yeah. Break I will it up. say I've been to I don't remember which band it was, but I've been to a band that. Uh, there was a fight that broke out and I was right next to it and my dad dragged me along and was like get down the fucking venue but there was a fight and they did not stop they the, they were continuing there was a bunch of drunk mm. dudes just a bunch of dudes ring bros <laughs> <laughs> yeah it depends on the band that you go and see I'm, a lot of the bands are you know ideally will stop it but unfortunately Usually. sometimes they just don't that's why I, I try to stay out of mosh pits and stuff too just because that's yeah. like if you're in a mosh pit, you're begging for something to happen. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, you're begging. Like, if you're in a mosh pit, you're 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 down to get dirty. You have to. Like, once yeah. you're in it, you have to fight. <laughs> you really do, because or else you're going to get trampled. You're going to get, like yeah, you're literally going to get trampled. No matter what. Any other shows, Noah, that you were going to say? Uh, Yeah, no, I've been to uh, two Dance Gavin dance concerts. I'm not a big fan of them, but my sister really liked the band. And I was like, yeah, no. I, but the lead singer is a huge asshole. I won't get down in that. But no, Dance Gavin Dance is such a not good band. They were good, but now they're just eh. Uh, I know some of their music, but I don't really listen to them too much. They're they're a mixture of like, it's like a mixture of pop and metal combined. I was like, eh, they're okay. Uh, I've been yeah. to a Blink One Eighty Two concert, which was not terrible. I will say it was pretty good. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> so sorry. Uh, I've been to I've been to a Green Day concert when I was a kid. Nice. It was probably uh, I don't have a lot of memories of it. I just remember going in. I just also remember them inviting a kid on stage and he played a guitar. I think. Nice. And I've been to uh, I, there's other I like I said Slipknot concert. There's another band I've been to, but I don't remember their fucking name. I have to ask my sister. Uh, I'm going to the home team concert in October. I'm very intrigued. I still have not listened to any of the home team music, but my sister likes it. And I want to go to a concert. I really like concerts. Hell They're fun. Yeah. I love like drinking and vibing. Concerts are fun to go to, They're even really if you don't like, like the band or something like that. If you don't like, like the band, it's a fun experience. Fun experience to go to. You don't got to like the band. If you, you're inviting to a concert, you go to them. You go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Literally. Now, the first concert I ever went to, I, be- I believe the first concert I ever went to was to see Rush with my parents. Rush. It's mm-hmm. my dad's favorite band, so. Yeah. It was a good show, yeah. I, from what I remember. I don't, I just remember, it, like, because it's the first show, I just remember it being very long. But it was cool. I always like seeing the different like uh, electronics and background pieces yeah. bands put together. Yeah, no, that's fair. Now, Caleb, what's the first concert you've ever been to? I I was first. That's true. Sure. That was it was, <laughs> it was it was the joke. It was ruined. Everybody. Oh oh, oh 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 oh! It, it was the joke. Funny laugh makes it seem like it's funny. It's so funny. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. but I was gonna say my favorite songs that I. Oh, you got one! Of. You finally found one. I have two. Okay, I Wait, have two. He, he did it, everybody. He did it. Oh my I god! I did it, guys. He I did, did it. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. All right. All right. You ready? Let's go. First song. Uh, I'd say "White Boys" by Tom McDonald. <laughs> Who? Tom McDonald. Thomas Donald? No, I'm just kidding. I hate Tommy <laughs> Donald, and he's terrible. And he's the worst <laughs> artist in the entire world. Thank you. Uh, my favorite artist, or my favorite song, I, it took me a, a hot minute to think of, but I think it has to be Awkward by Tyler. Agreed. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and my second favorite, I said, was ADHD by Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> I agreed to that too. Yes, I just because I, I have basically ADHD. have ADHD. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's also just like an amazing song. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's off of Section Eighty. I'm not a big a like. Song. I'm not like a huge Kendrick Lamar fan, but that song's not not terrible. I will say, not terrible. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but, Tom McDonald fucking sucks. Tom Thank you, McDonald. 
Mm. Oh my Apparently god. He didn't have a farm. Shout out to Brad Taste and Music. <laughs> sounds good. It sounds good. I don't know great. who that is, but Alrighty. All right. He's he's just a uh, creator who really hates Tom McDonald, and I. <laughs> it's so awesome. I love yeah. him. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I just I I had to make the joke that Tom oh. McDonald was my favorite song because I think it's so funny. You know, you got to. Some days you gotta, just got to. <laughs> at least stand for Tom McDonald. <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to stand for that, man. No, no. No one should stand for Tom McDonald. You know what? Another fun fact with Noah. Oh, welcome, Llama, to the podcast. Oh. Welcome, Llama. Bye, I can Llama. see you. Bye. I know, right? Bye. Have a yep. good time. You're looking right at him. Yep. He's right behind me. <laughs> wow. No, you said you had another fun fact. I have another fun fact. Welcome back to Ooh. Fun Facts with Noah. Yeah. If you don't feel like standing, just don't stand. That has been Fun Facts with Noah. Noah! <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. But, yeah. Uh, I, I feel pretty good. I mean, it, music's always been big, you know. I think music is something that everyone can bond yeah. over. I feel like yeah, music, movies, all that stuff, you can really bond over with a group of people. Oh my god. Yeah, like a group of people like us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god, dude. Oh my god. This oh, my god. My, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. This is an MMA fight. Grab his <laughs> and twist it. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Grab, Grab his dick and twist it. it. Yeah, good old dick twist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you uh, know. Yeah, you can see how we all became friends. It was yeah. movies and music. And the most random and ADHD just random shit. shit. Yeah. Uh, we come we've come together and formed um, the Snoots cast. Yeah. The Snoots, the Snoots, the Snoots, the Yeah. Caleb, dance on me. I'm not even saying it right. What you doing there, bud? Nothing. Homie but. can't even defend himself. Homie he might have a shovel in hand, but he's dead. Over there. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. But no, music is just, it hasn't like been a huge part of my life for a while. But like, as I grew up, I was like, damn, I'm such an idiot. Yeah. Is music I've really been like. through so many, like I've been through so many pairs of earbuds and headphones. Me too. So no. I was going to say, I used to have an MP3 player, like those yeah. tiny little. Oh my God. Yeah. Pocket sized thing. It was yeah. chunky too. It was guys, a chunky boy. You guys have like those iPods too. I never had an iPod. No, not like, I, not like an I, iPod. I kind like, of. Like the small rectangular ones. Yeah. The little small one. Yeah. I had a yeah. silver one. Yeah. I had a the black one. Pod? No, it had all not my the brother's Nano music one. on it. It was like 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 the first like iPods. They just would play music and you can't go on any apps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have one of did those. Did you guys though ever have did you guys ever have a CD player? That's the Yes, I did. Oh, for sure. But I wouldn't nice. play like music. I would just play like soundtracks for movies. And <laughs> one of them was <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh damn straight. Nice. Damn straight. <laughs> Uh, Young no, adult to shit. Okay. Oh, I used to listen to. I I blasted. I have uh, Hollywood Undead. Uh, their first album. My friend burned me a copy of their uh, first uh, album, and I would blast everywhere I go for hours on end. At like the <laughs> age of like ten, probably shouldn't have, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> I have an embarrassing you know first favorite artist. What was your embarrassing oh. first favorite artist? I mean, it's sort of embarrassing. Is it the Wiggles? It was... No, it... I wish. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh Imagine God. Dragons. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was a huge fan. I was, I you know what? Like, I, sad. I gotta agree with you. I was a huge fan, too, but I wasn't that huge of mm-hmm. a fan because I only listened to Radioactive. <laughs> yeah, did. that was my favorite <laughs> album. I don't remember. I think it was... Night, t- night, dark. I don't remember what it was called. Spooky. Night vision. Night vision. I, or something. What are Demons they? Demons was my favorite. I don't know any of their fucking. Now albums. I don't listen to. Yeah, that's I, good. Yeah, I never really. Um, I never. It's pretty mid. I only listened to 
I only listen to that one song by them. Radioactive. Or yeah. like the Thunder. The, <gasps> the thunder. Do, you remember, yeah. do you remember the Radioactive uh, YouTube video? Where yeah, it was fighting where it was stuffed puppets. animals. Yeah, it was yeah. Stuffed oh, animals. yeah, yeah, yeah. So weird. It was, I was like, what is this? I was like, like that girl was walking up to this barn and then she was like, here's my stuffed animal. And it was all like, yeah. it was all like, oh, I'm sad. But then I have this <laughs> super power laser. <laughs> the power of love and friendship. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. that their music videos are interesting. I think it was just that one music video. Um, no, Imagine Dragons. Did you guys ever? Did you guys ever experience the kids bop phenomena? Yep. Yeah. I had a whole bunch of kids bops, and oh, uh, that's what I call as well. But do you ever just like you're watching TV one day, and then bada boom, bada bing, a commercial pops up, and it's kids bop, and they're thirty. <sighs> fifth album oh yeah and then like they're doing justin bieber and selena gomez yeah and i'm like and you're like what is this what is happening i'm just trying to watch i just want to watch my nickelodeon show i yeah, don't know. Really? i don't want to listen to kids Bop. i want this uh, kids Bop do you guys i don't think you guys know but like kids Bop originally started out as this one adult man singing doing like singing the song in a weird voice it was just an old man. Really? It was like, listen, go back, watch, because uh, I watched a YouTube video, uh, Drew Gooden, and he went back oh, to listen. I love Drew. He went back to listen to, uh, back, listen to Kids Bop, and it was just this man singing, <laughs> like, because it was this man singing, all the small things. <laughs> oh and I'm like, god. and I looked back at, and I was like, oh my god, it was just this weird old man. Just, and what? there was occasionally some kids in it, but they weren't singing; they were backup vocals. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> Kids Bop was weird. Kids Bop is weird. Yeah. It wasn't until like their tw- like twentieth or thirtieth album till kids started actually. Till it was a Kids Bop album <laughs> full of kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Kids Bop was Kids Bop was a phenomena and it's still still around. Yeah, somehow. Kids are still singing. Who's listening to that? Kids. Just kids, but like Kids Bop. Why? It's a Kids Bop. I feel like when I was a kid I was like, I'm good. I uh, I mean, what yeah, no. When I was a kid I was like, oh, Kids Bop change channel. I'd rather listen to the actual song. I'd rather listen to the song. Yo, feel that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But uh no. You guys uh, remember like uh the first band that kind of got you into like the genre or like maybe the first artist that got you into the genre that you are big into? Gorillas. Gorillas. Gorillas number one. Oh. Will always be Gorillas. If not uh for rap it was Mac Miller. Mm-hmm. And if not uh Tyler. Cuz yep. I just remember or Childish Gambino. Yeah. Uh, I just remember his one skit. Tyler was like doing this one thing with a girl. He was talking about waffles or something, and he was like, "Let me finish." Oh, do not interrupt yeah, yeah. me. That uh, that video. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was like cooking something. Yeah, no. Okay, thank God I'm not the only one that knows that. I remember that. Yeah, this was, like, I love that. <laughs> Um, but what's the what's that uh, interviewer's name? He goes around interviewing like people. <gasps> doo, 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 doo. Yeah, what oh, the hell is his name? Because he interviews like these rappers and and Amos finds out like about them. yeah, Nar- uh, Nardwar. 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 Yeah, I just always <laughs> love. I think of it for a second. I always either. love watching his clips like with Tyler because love Tyler loves Nardwar. <laughs> but the one I forget who it was was it Wiz Khalifa or something? And he pulled L- Uzi. Lil Uzi or something, and he was like, yeah, he had "This him on guy, stage. Rob Zombie poster." No, he was like, he was like, oh. "This guy know too much, know too much." <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this guy know too he much. He's like, and what? he's like, "I didn't know this." I didn't know this, and he's just like, "I'm gonna leave." Bam! He leaves and runs he out of there. Bolts. Yep. But I love just like Nardwar's like facts, and he's yeah. They're all like, How do you know that? Yeah. Right. How the hell do you know that? You part of the FBI or something? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, just Nardwar like the funny. sweet old man. Yeah. Like I just love watching Nardwar interviews. I, yeah. It's so funny. I was I was like oh. trying to think. He was like Nardwar, man. That's like that's someone you gotta watch. That's yeah. someone everybody's gotta watch. For real. Like if you want to know that interesting is... facts, like Tyler Crater, Cana- his mom's like Canadian or something. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Nardwar's yeah. like your mom's Canadian. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> how do you know i'm canadian the fuck <laughs> yep no, um yeah. for me it was i remember in fourth grade um the band seether is what got me into kind of all this kind of music mm-hmm. it was their song fake it fake i used it. to think it was fake 17 fake because 17. of how the uh the uh whatchamacallit how everything i forget the name for it but how everything was printed and stuff like on the back of the album it looked like 17 but it was like the song that i blasted and then it just fell downhill from there and now i yeah metalhead (laughs) (laughs) uh you actually for like metal and stuff my chemical romance really got me into that genre even though they're like Mm. not a heavy metal band but like i because my sister and i would watch him and my sister got into heavy metal and she would show me stuff i forget there's this one band i I know I listen to I Prevail a lot. I guess my sister introduced it to me. My my sister introduced <laughs> a lot of music to me that's heavy metal related. That's why I got into the genre of heavy metal. But yeah, yep. no. Caleb, you, turn, go. Uh, Well, to add on to that, my brother introduced me to a lot of stuff. Which, nice. especially Sean James. I, I liked him for a while. Uh, Man, someone who introduced me. Or like, a band that you were introduced to, not like introduced to, like you started listening to. And a got band, you. uh, probably Kings of Leon, because for a while I just knew them by that one song Sex on that Fire. was "Use Somebody," and then oh, "Use Somebody." Also, the main singer's name is also Caleb, so that's kind of sick. It's kind of sick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't really know their songs too much until a couple of my friends showed me, and then yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, these are oh my god, dude. oh my god." But, uh also uh the smashing pumpkins smashing pumpkins smashing pumpkins great band i, I remember so smashing much. pumpkins i you yeah. know um this is really random um yeah. i just happened to be quickly on facebook for a brief moment i found the movie that we were talking about that oh, halloween no. movie why <laughs> really what is it yeah. it's called scary godmother halloween oh, scary godmother oh scary my god godmother. Oh, the... yep, that's that's, that's hey, the movie. If someone comments and has not listened to this part, uh, thank you for trying, but we figured it out. Thank you so much yeah, for trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Scary Godmother, that that movie, that was a trip yep. and a half. Oh my god. I re- yeah, that's the movie. Oh my god. I love how we uh we did a call back back probably an that, hour yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a little bit over an hour ago now. Yeah, no, but like, still, I'm glad you fucking found it. Oh my god, I can't yeah. I found it. that literally was eating me on Facebook. Yeah, just randomly, someone shared it. I mean, it was like a popular thing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if Nickel- Nickelodeon was Cartoon Network still plays it. Right, I, I do. I wouldn't be. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised. Be surprised. It, like, it would make sense. Like it was. It's. It's even though the animation quality sucked ass. But still, it was a yes. It was a good movie. Yeah. As a kid, I still like it. I don't know why. Same. But like, I haven't watched it in a while. But now, I, now I can look it up and watch it. <laughs> there you go. I'll probably forget this oh. five years from now. Yeah, five right. years from now. <laughs> five years from now, I'm gonna be thinking, what was that one movie? I'll just come back to episode two of the Snoots cast. Oh, wait, episode, no, three. episode three. Episode, episode three. three. God, August. I mean, you can go back to episode two if you want. Yeah, that's true. It's that episode, this episode it's, two is out. Yeah, episode two will be out. I hope you're. In, I hope everybody's enjoying our little talking, our little talky and talks. The yeah. randomness of all this, we appreciate all the. We appreciate. Hey, appreciate all of you. Episode one, episode one is out and about. Everybody, go give that a watch. Episode and two will also be out and about. It will now. be a. We just appreciate all the love and support from you guys, yeah. even though we are. Um, thanks for sticking through our rough audio. Yeah, yeah. 
we're making we're working it out we're working it out hey yeah. we're just we're just starting out you know it's always right. like we're starting out not everything's going to be perfect starting out but hey we just appreciate all the love and support from you guys just keep uh watching our videos if you guys get bored of us just leave us a comment saying i'm bored of you guys and yeah and we'll bring leave. someone new on and bring some new on just yeah. tell your friends and family your grandfather your grand dog and then your other grand dogs tell your dogs <laughs> your, your grand kitties don't forget the kitties don't forget the grand kitties like <laughs> your grand cats not your actual yeah. grandchildren your cats tell yeah, your cats <laughs> Yeah, yeah, in your future, we're, we're planning on having some people for some guests here and there. So yeah, we want yeah, to look for out sure. for that. Watch out for that. Hey, we want to um, invite some guests. I know I have a we have a couple of people in mind. Yeah, for sure. If you uh, made it this far as well, uh, feel free to find us on Spotify and Amazon Music. If you use either of those, uh, we're on TikTok and Instagram. And yeah, the no. links will be in the description, most likely. Of course. Yeah, everything that's in the description. Just look up the Snoots cast and on all the platforms, and you will find us one way or yeah. the other. And before we all we finally wait, what? We finally found a name that uh, no one else has used. So I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> you look it up. I will say, looking up our name on YouTube, uh, there was this one video called The Boots. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw. I saw that yeah, video, but I, I didn't watch it. I looked it up in YouTube, and there's this thing called The Boots. I was like, that's not us. We didn't do anything yes. about boots. <laughs> but uh, before we sign Next off, episode. before we sign off, if you watched uh, episode two, this is a callback to it. Uh, Little Tay is not dead. Little Tay is alive. Little Tay is yeah. not dead. For now. So, yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching or listening or hearing with your little ear holes. We appreciate the listen. We appreciate all the love and support, like I've said, and keep saying I should shut up at some point. But we appreciate everybody out there listening to us, even though it's still episode three. I just want to give my love and thanks. I will be giving you all good night kisses when you listen to this. Yep, good night. Time. I will tuck you yep. in, read you a bedtime mm-hmm. story, give you a little kiss on the forehead, and send you off to bed. Because a warm glass of milk. A warm glass of milk, maybe a little cookie if I feel like it. Mmm. Maybe a nice <laughs> cookie. Oh well, yeah. Uh thank you yeah. everyone for thank you, everybody. watching, listening. Just like Noah said, we truly appreciate it. This has been the Snoots Cast, Caleb, August, and Noah. And we'll yeah, we see you guys in the next, the next episode. podcast. Thanks for watching. And remember, st- and remember, kids, don't stand. Stay snooty. Stay snooty. snooty. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and remember, stay snooty. Thanks for watching. Yeah.